Welcome back to the last module of uh, paper 5, Communication through Translation, module number 35 of EPG program in Japanese. Module is Learn while practicing translation and the subject is joint statement between the two countries, Japan and India. The paper deals with communication through translation, that is Honya Kutsu Jiteno communication. And we would like to sum up uh, certain things in this uh, module. So focus on this module and maybe uh, watch it more number of times. The content is developed by uh, me together with Anukumari and uh, acknowledgement goes to Saurabh Singh also. Uh, the two are trainees in the ongoing trans translation training program of CSCR Neskir. The module covers uh, application of CPCI theory and translation techniques almost same as what was in the previous module. The only difference is in this particular module issue of terrorism that is the paragraph which is taken up. So we skip other content. Recapitulation from the previous module, the concepts of uh, universal and quasi-universal units are very useful at first occurrence particularly for the verbs. Uh, begin with the core equivalent and gradually fine-tune to include a database, to include this in the database. Uh, universal units are very used, very universally, uh, universal units are universally usable while quasi-universal units are dynamic. Combination of frame and 5W1H, even if the frame is kept in mind, is time-tested approach. Appropriate macro frame capturing followed by sequential 5W1H questions can help in rendering uh, the near accurate translation. Frame it is uh, remember that lighter the frame, easier it becomes to translate accurately. Move to smart or smart plus that is heavier frames gradually. One or two elements plus smallest possible meaningful frame is what it means by smart frame. It can cut down the process, but it can also lead to the complacency. So level up ultimately leads to a smart frame and then maybe to a super smart, smart frame where uh, processes happen in the cog in cognizant manner that is it happens in your mind and not on the paper. Equivalent compound terms in Japanese usually are explicit in terms of uh, use of elements but implicit in terms of use of particles. Therefore understanding the elemental, elemental relationship in compound terms and building corpus of compound term uh, units becomes significant. Let us begin with the examples for this particular module that is issue of terrorism. So again it is 3 plus 2 5 and uh, half lines uh, again looks quite complicated. Let us truncate uh, the sentence you know the say this paragraph into sm uh, smaller sentences. So there are 5 sentences which are coming up here. Listing sentence by sentence in increases the amenability and let, let us now attempt uh, translation sentence by sentence. In this particular case, uh, in the sentence, the last if we see it is Hyo Gende Hinan Hihansuru. Hinan or Hihansuru? Hinansuru. Hinansuru. Okay. So Ryoshu Showa Hinansuru, the smallest frame, fine. Okay. Then Nanyo uh, Hinansuru. <clears throat> Ara yuru ketai and mokte ki no tero. Okay, simple. Dunna uh, seishinde. Zero tolerance, tolerance no seishinde. Yes, you can see. Uh, Dunna seishinde. The seishin is coming from the answer itself. That is from the sentence. Soshte. Motto mo tsuyoi hyogende. Okay, this motto mo tsuyoi hyogende because it was seishin de, hyogen de, so question was soshte. Question 2 could have been uh, dono yo ni, uh, as a standard, you know, when we look at the standard question, the standard question could have been dono yo ni, but here it is, the question is don na seishin de, the seishin de is coming in a dynamic way from the, from the sentence itself. So dynamic question approach, uh, you know, given a segment is uh, the answer. You need to draw the question from the statement or from the uh, segment. 
initially uh, go for the random question draw a hint from the segment for the question of question customization is to be done in the due course hmm? we can see the difference only there is one one uh, issue in the reverse translation so japanese tr appears more uh, organized because of proper use of particles can be translated by applying 5w1h directly while keeping the frame in mind if we go for the cpci uh, first is in the uh, in the spirit of and getting translated as no session i think it's a good uh, expression to pick up as a unit and at at the unit level it's a core equivalent and uh, if we look at uh, session day uh, in in session day they is translated as in and session is a uh, wide concept or wide scope concept therefore it's getting translated as translated as in in strongest terms motomo tsuyo hyogen de in strongest words fine i think terms is a uh, uh, more technical word as compared to words uh, core at unit level i should say yes let's see uh, one more uh, cpc example it's uh, terrorism in all its forms and manifestation arayuru katachi or ketai mokteki no tero Uh, the reverse translation is terrorism of all forms as well as uh, purposes so there is a issue here and uh, the trans the actually it is not uh, not correct uh, the reverse translation is literal but incorrect uh, japanese tr or japanese tr from the published version is good equivalent uh, terrorism in all its forms is arayuru ketai no tero uh, which is core at unit level and terrorism in all its manifestation is arayuru mokteki no tero and to put together uh, makes this uh, expression uh, mukte ki is actually target while manifestation is the result unfolding therefore it's this components is implicit at the unit level that means at this unit level it is implicit so uh, try 5w1h to understand the complete unit uh, terrorism in what form do na kata chino tero arayuru ketai no tero is the answer then terrorism in what uh, all manifestations dono yo ni arawareta katachi no tero and arayuru katachi ni arawareta tero is the answer arayuru moktiki no tero is the slightly different form hmm? example 2 ryoshino wa ryuishita uh, okay donna Omoi o motte duista deska. Kene no motte. Kene no motte. Okay. Nani ni tai. Nani ni is okay. Or nani ni tai shite. Pero bodo teki kage ki shogi no kyoi ga kuyashite ori mata hakusan shite iru koto ni. Hmm. Okay. Mashite ori mata hakusan shite iru koto. So there is one increasing and then the other is spreading. Okay. Uh, question one could have been nani o motte also so uh, you know it's again standard versus the dynamic approach uh, dynamic question approach uh, here uh, you know you have to take care that this interactive approach helps in learn while practice you know when you apply your mind you you get involved into the count into the content uh, at a at a different level to put question through dynamic approach combination of japanese and mother tongue is very helpful okay let's compare uh, there is a um, published uh, translation uh, published version then there is a japanese translation then there is a reverse translation and there is a fine tuned reverse translation we are picking up growing menace of terrorism and violent extremism and its uh, universal reach uh, appears quite complicated but if you see the japanese it's not so complicated so tero then boryokte ki kage ki shugi no kyoi ga mashite ori mata khakusan shite khakusan shite ru koto so increasing and spreading so there are two things one is increasing and the no only one thing which is increasing and spreading and this one thing is actually there are two two uh, 
you know, concepts. One is ma the menace of terrorism and violent extremism. So there are terrorism and violent ex extremism. Uh, Japanese TR is implicit. Its uh, universal uh, reach uh, uh, has been translated as Tero, uh, then Boryok Teki Kageki Shugi no Kyoi ga Kaksan Shiteru Koto, wherein universal is not uh, getting translated in the case of Japanese. So it's implicit uh, in that manner, and from Japanese TR to the reverse is Core. So reverse TR is different from published version, but close to Japanese TR, but this means that while translating published version into Japanese, style changed during this transfer. Now talking of menace and reach, uh, you know, implicit could have been avoided through correct 5W1H or maybe uh, 5W1H plus frame approach. Uh, going to the next sentence, third one, the frame is Ryoshinova. Aito no iyo hyomeshita, am I correct? Yes, sir. Yes, Aito no iyo hyomeshita. Uh, so, smart frame because it's not hyomeshita only. Nani ni taishite? Yokoku no kigaisha no izoku ni taishite. Okay, so izoku ni taishite could have been an answer, and higaisha no izoku ni taishite could have been an answer, and ryokoku no higaisha no izoku ni taishite means two questions have been saved there. Okay, nani ni yoru higaisha desu ka? Saikin no tero to geki ni yoru. Okay, so they, the, the one who got the uh, impact because of the recent terrorist act. Okay. Doko de tero uh, kogeki ga arimashita desu ka? Dakka yobi uri wo hikumi. Okay, now the, my question was doko de tero kogi ga arimashita ka? And now see here, it's doko de no tero kogeki. You know, if you look at the uh, the Japanese sentence or even the pub published original also, it says Dakka Oyobi Uri of Kumu Saikin no Tero Kogeki and this Tero Kogeki, kogeki is actually Tero Kogeki Jiken. So it's, n it's not uh, Dakka or Uri are not the place, da Dakka and Uri are the names of the incident. So Dakka incident and the Uri incident. Therefore, the question should be Doko de no Tero Kogeki, if I say it will be place, so it can cause a problem. So you have to be careful. It should be dono tero kogeki was the right question. So for dynamic questions, first step, break the sentence in meaningful small segments. Next, derive hint uh, for questions uh, from the answer segment. Stepwise uh, process for accurate question is uh, uh, you, you need to remember for all purposes. This is the published Japanese translation and the revised uh, reverse translation. Extended their condolences. So, Aito no E O uh, Hyomeshita. Extended their condolences. So as, uh, if you say extended their condolences, now Aito no E is getting translated as condolences in this, which is fine. So, publish and reverse TR are same. Uh, this means Aito no E means uh, feeling of sympathy. Uh, you know, extend condolences means express the feeling of uh, sorrow. So, equivalent is peripheral for extended, uh, you know, is not is used for Hyomeshita, which is a better equivalent as compared to uh, Taidoya, Ketsuyo, Hakiri, uh, as it is, it means Taidoya, Ketsuyo, Hakiri to uh, Arawasu and is derived from the context. So, it's basically uh, what is that? Izoku ni taishite? Yeah. Hmm? So it's basically ex you know derived from izoku ni taishite. So it ex uh, the expression uh, may be treated as universal unit and together uh, aito no iyo hyomeshita complete thing can be taken as a core as core equivalent uh, for extended their condolences at unit level. Reverse TR as well as the published version have almost uh, same frame. This is indicative of smooth frame transfer process. In the reverse TR, O Fukumu is missed out. Uh, this is a problem. Issue is one to one ac accountability, uh, coverage procedure, appropriate application of 5W1H. You know, if you want to ensure that all the elements have been, uh, you know, covered, 
then you have to probably physically check whether each element has got its equivalent in the target language or not. But 5W1H is one approach which can help you doing so. Hmm? One more, uh, to, to the bereaved families of the victims and Higaisha no Kizoku ni taishite. Now, 2 is getting translated as ni uh, taishite. Kizoku is bereaved families, okay. Of the victims, Higaisha no is fine, okay. In the reverse translation to the families of victims, I think uh, bereaved is missing in this. Uh, rest is, I think, fine. So, one to one accountability uh, is an issue for each. Uh, you know, each element could have been probably confirmed uh, or its equivalence availability or uh, could have confirmed whether accountability is complete or not. But uh, published version to Japanese translation is core at uh, microfilm level. Hmm. Then recent terrorist attacks including uh, in Dhaka and Uri. Uh, Dhaka, uh, Uri, Ofukumo uh, Saikin no Tero Kogeki. You know, in English, what he's talking about is recent terrorist attacks, including in Dhaka and Uri. So, Dhaka and Uri are the uh, place names. In Japanese, Dhaka Uyobi Uri of Kumu Saikin no Tero Kogeki means it's turning the Dhaka and uh, Uri as uh, as incidents. So, the name of the incident. So, rather than place, it's significant now as. Uh, what is Dhaka uh, incident or Dhaka terrorist attack? It is a terrorist attack which happened in Dhaka. Hmm? So, Japanese TR is exactly same here in, as published version. Though, no in Saikin no Tero Koweki uh, needs uh, explanation to, to match recent terrorist attacks. Reverse translation is uh, incorrect. Uh, Dhaka Oyobi Uri are proper uh, nouns and uh, represent. Uh, you know, in a way, it is incorrect because if in, in English also it is not incident, it is place. So, core at unit level, uh, if we treat it is, is, is at a, at a uh, unit level. Apply 5W1H on micro frames uh, to ensure accuracy. For example, Dunna uh, Kazoku. So, it will give uh, Isoku and Nani of Kumu. So, that will cover the Fukumu. Sentence number four, uh, it's ni motemeta. So let's see the frame. Joshu no wa motometa. Okay, so motometa that means o is not there. Ni motometa is there. So kuni ni motometa, there must be o also in this. So let's go for the question. So first go for o nani o motometa. Riko. Riko. Riko o motometa. Okay, next. Nan no riko. Uh, okay, so it's Ketsugi no Riko o Motometa, and there are one, one, two, six, seven resolution, and the other is uh, Tero uh, Ko, what is that? Tero Soshki no Tero Soshki Tero Soshki o Shite Suru. Hokano Kanden no Ketsugi. Okay, so one is uh, specific 1267, the other is other Ketsugi. Okay. Dari ni motometa nsu ka? Subete no kuni ni. Okay. Now this gives you a broad uh, idea. So dynamic question process becomes realistic when units and segments have been identified properly. Once the accurate TR has been rendered, uh, higher level of 5W1H leads to free translation. The published version had uh, to implement the, what's it, to implement the? To implement the resolution. Okay, to implement the resolution and Japanese TR is uh, Ketsugi no Riko is fine and implementation of resolution is also fine. In English, it is to implement that is verb. In Japanese, it is becoming no record that means it's becoming noun so it's peripheral uh, in you know when you see ja published to Japanese uh, and core in Japanese core when it is Japanese to reverse translation uh, though accountability is not maintained uh, reverse translation and published version are not so different uh, however the freedom may be used only on the level of 
at the level of revised translation. So, 5W1H is 5W1H allows accountability. Uh, if we see the elements, it's uh, first is Hoan, it's no Ampori Ketsugi. Ampori Ketsugi is Ampori stands for uh, uh, UNSC, that is, yeah, UNSC resolution. Uh, it may be treated as um, universal unit. Uh, the next is Kanden no Ketsugi. Kanden Ketsugi, Kanden can be different. It could be a something no Ketsugi, so it's a quasi universal unit. And the Tero Soshiki for ter terrorist entities. Uh, I think this should be taken as universal unit because this is not so easily available word because Soshki is normally organization and Tero, Tero has got an issue of whether it is terrorism or it's terrorist. Okay, now going further, can you read the published version, the, the component called upon? All countries. Called upon all countries. Subite no kunini motometa. Okay, this is direct fine. Uh, what's in the reverse here? The sort from all countries. Okay. Now, Motometa is getting translated in the reverse one as sought from Ni Motometa and in English it is called upon all the countries. Called upon all the countries seeking their cooperation is Ni Motometa. So, Ni Motometa is usually sought from and Riko O in the Riko O Suvita no Kuni Ni Motometa is making it called upon all countries to implement. Uh, what is there equivalent of one part okay equivalent of one part is coming from the context of other part and therefore it can be treated as a unit implicit at the unit level so 5w1h may not have resolved the issue in this case uh, though english to japanese does give the option english to japanese when you translate that is called upon uh, and if you look for the equivalents, then you will find that ni motometa is quite close equivalent available. Otherwise, called upon can also mean visit and called upon can also mean uh, visited or uh, asked. And when you say uh, when you say asked somebody, then it obviously means ask somebody to do something for you. So, free, free TR uh, through higher level 5W1H combined with the subject knowledge may give implicit uh, version. Ryoshunova, uh, what's there? Torikumu Koto. Okay, Torikumu Koto Motometa. So it's a smart frame. Torikumu Koto is added. So Torikumi Kumu Koto O Motometa. Fine. Donna Koto ni? Teremu Nanbashoko Infra O. Jokyo. Jokyo Surutame ni? Kyo Doshi. Kyodoshi. Okay, Kyodoshi koto ni. But Kyodoshi means that there is some more verb. Okay. Uh, next question is Soshite. Terrorist no network to Shikin Chotatsu Kero Hakaishi. Hakaishi koto ni. Okay, Shikin Chotatsu uh, uh, Kero o Hakaishi. That Hakaishi is Hakaishi koto ni. So this again, she means that something else is there. So I think there should be one more. Uh, Hokawa. Okay, Ekyo Tomeru Kotani. Okay, uh, fine. I think this is clear. So answers are uh, micro frames, uh, which can be accurately translated by applying 5W1H further, if the need be. Frame or segment uh, segregation and 5W1H are mutually complementary. That means uh, uh, when you segregate uh, the frame, the frame or uh, you know se segment segregation is done, uh, then 5W1H is asked. You can use 5W1H to segregate the segment of the frame and vice versa that this process helps you in the 5W1H also. Let us take the CPCI components and first is terrorist safe havens. It is a good word. Uh, Tero no, uh, it is Hinan Basho. Okay, they don't know Hinan Basho. Hinan Basho, normally in the earthquake, people say Hinan Basho. That means if earthquake takes place, you go to a Hinan Basho. That means a place where you can evacuate to. Uh, but but it's, it's a safe haven, you know, because it's believed that you will be comfortable there. So, implicit, okay. So, uh, there is safe havens. Safe havens is making it implicit. Fine. 
then uh, explanation is tero hinan basho is tero ris ga hinan dekiru matava hinan suru basho uh, yeah this is elemental relation issue because uh, hinan basho does not explain whether it is uh, hinan dekiru basho or hinan suru basho hmm? so it will be the context which will tell you that okay next uh, it's too small can you read cross border, border movement of terrorists okay cross border movement of terrorists cross border movement that means uh, if it's a case of india pakistan then terrorists traveling from the border of one country to the other country that is cross border terrorist uh, movement it does not specify from which country to which, which country it's from one country to the other country and this is translated in reverse as cross border terrorism no that's a different one cross border terrorism is the terrorism is happening in one country and it's originating from the other country uh, so meaning is slightly different and therefore uh, if you look at the published version and the Japanese translation, it's implicit uh, translation. Then cross-border movement of terrorists uh, in English can be said as movement of terrorists across the border. So it's question of elemental relation. <coughs> That's all in uh, this module, which was the last module of uh, this series. The learnings can be summed up as follows. Framing questions under 5W1H is not considered easy yes that's true dynamic question approach is an interactive exercise that helps in learning while practicing dynamic questions approach dynamic dynamic questioning approach uh, has certain components and these are segmentation of sentence identify units in the segments draw a hint from each segment use combination of japanese and mother tongue in understanding to pose the realistic questions and about role of 5w1h uh, it helps in maintaining uh, one to one accountability that is ac account, uh, accuracy then it increases the comfort level in identifying micro frames and in rendering the rendering the translation uh, then translating implicit is a uh, way to do the free translation it helps uh, in doing so once you put 5w1h you'll be clear about the uh, about the content and beyond that you can keep modifying it and while modifying also ensure that you are not deviating from the text by using 5w1h frame plus 5w1h is found a better approach uh, to are in fact mutually complementary you know you capture the frame keep applying the 5w1h you uh, have captured already the frame now you can apply it on the 5w1h when you are putting the 5w1h uh, proper noun should be left untouched creation of database is helpful to deal with the equivalent uh, selection uh, for the specific purpose uh, so for the specific proper noun for example uh, tero uh, soshki uh, for terrorist entities and then elemental relationship requires in-depth uh, ability to comprehend the source language and to render in that particular component or that particular uh, segment in the target language reverse uh, translation as was told uh, initially also in the previous modules also reverse uh, into source language that is into the original language is a strong tool to check the accuracy or you can say it's a strong tool to uh, check the cognizance level uh, in that mechanism of translation if the frame of source language is maintained uh, in the reverse translation also it means the source language to translate which process uh, should have been a very accurate process this is these are the some of the references for this module and uh, thank you so much uh, for this journey together of these 35 modules it was a step by step uh, process you should travel again and again and again i look forward to your feedback thank you so much